Hi Sagittarius, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius Let's make it a little lower. for the month of October 2022. So um, I'm a Sagittarius and this is a very interesting reading that I pulled, the four card read. Uh, I never know what's going to come up, but it's a message for all of us. So basically right now, October 1st, we are in Libra season and Mars is currently trining Saturn. So we're asked to commit to ourselves, commit to whatever it is that we, what action we want to take, be sure it's the action we want, be sure it's our desire and then commit and move with it. Now tomorrow, we right now today, we still have six planets retrograde, but tomorrow, October 2nd, Mercury, the fastest moving planet, stations direct, and Pluto, the slowest moving planet, stations direct. Now Mercury is the planet of communication, information, uh, writing, uh, speaking. Pluto is the planet of transformation. So with both of them heading direct, it, it and they're going to be in what's called a trine, a blessing for 10 days. Uh, it feels like we're going to get information that will project us forward, that we'll be able to make better, a better choice for ourselves, and then to take action with it. And it could be transformative, so please be watching for it. And uh, that's the beginning of October. Towards the end of October, there's a few ups and downs, but by the time Scorpio runs around or comes around, it, things will smooth out. So the first card that I pulled for you, Sagittarius, is the Devil card. And the Devil card doesn't mean the Devil. It's actually a, cap, a card representing Capricorn. It's about tenacity and it's about moving forward without um, going overboard. Don't don't try to push anything or force anything this month. Uh, basically, you, you need to just decide where it is you want to move forward and then uh, stick with it and commit to yourself. But don't try to force round pegs into square holes. When we try to force it, it never comes our way. We need to just be gentle and allow it to unfold for us. So the uh, surprise or challenge card is the Queen of Pentacles. Queens are the highest feminine representation in the suit, and this suit represents earth or money or well-being. So truthfully, if you don't force it, you have a lot of support from the feminine energy of earth, the earth energy to move forward and to be successful. Your process card, Sagittarius, and this goes with this one also. This is a, the Ten of Swords, and it looks like a horrible card, but the message of this card is to surrender to the process. These swords are all golden, and the golden light is bathing this man's back. So it's time to just take a, take a seat and allow what you've been working on to unfold. Trust that you have the support of the universe for that. And the most likely outcome card that I pulled for you is an awesome card. It's the 10 of cups. 10 is the highest number within the suits. And this 10 of cups is all about emotional, spiritual, and physical well-being. There's a little family sitting there. There's a rainbow of cups, abundance covering their home. So um, understand that you can, this is not a time to force anything. And, and Sagittarians, you know, we're half horse, half man. We want to push it. We want to make it happen. But the truth is this month, all you really need to do is decide and then allow yourself to see your messages as they come and as you can move forward and make better choices. So hopefully that was helpful for you Sagges out there. I hope you have a wonderful month of October. Thank you for watching.